Fred here, welcome back to the Your Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at Zoomies, so stay tuned. So if you watch any kind of TV, you'll, you'll see those as seen on TV ads, and these stupid things are in those ads. So you, you've probably seen ads for these Zoomies, and you, you may be wondering if these are worth it. Um, <laughs> I hope you don't have your hopes up too much, but, um, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, they claim that this thing has 400% magnification, and it, it, it's easily adjustable with uh, focus knobs on the side, and they're lightweight, portable, and you wear them just like glasses, and they will make you look like a movie star. Okay, I, I may have light about that it also says sunshade eliminates glare without switching to sunglasses i guess if you got these big things on your face they're sort of like a sunshade and it's it's i don't know it's sort of like fold up binoculars that are lightweight and you don't have to hold them up to your head because they're so heavy and your arms are so weak and you just are too weak to hold a pair of i, I can see that they're useful if you're doing other stuff while looking at something that you need to look at at four hundred times magnification um it says please read the instructions before use um <laughs> okay <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry about that but i don't have a little mic cut off for that okay so first off let's see if they make you look cool whoa <laughs> all right can i focus these things in um let me see the camera is about eye length and the first issue is that I cannot get that in focus. So, you know, they, they show somebody reading the newspaper with these things. <clears throat> Sorry again. But um, it is not going to happen. You cannot um, see things. I'm holding it all the way out here, and it's just not sharp. Now... Of course, I wear glasses, so maybe it's because of my bad vision. So let me put these on <laughs> over my glasses and see if a normal person could actually read it. And the answer is nope. Let me see. Maybe if I... No, it's getting worse. Okay, so the claim that you can read close in with this you read a newspaper or something like that is bull crap <laughs> I can't now far away um, now far away I, I did just go down and try these outside and you know they they do a decent job for for distances far away now it, it, it allows you to sort of slightly focus one eye a little bit uh, off on the other as you can see when you turn these knobs see how that's going up and down on each side there whoops I'm sorry I'm doing a bad job here see how that's going like that so it allows you to sort of focus each eye individually um, so you can sort of find the focus on both so that's kind of cool but um you know this is poor quality this is good for a kid but for any serious bird watcher, I think you're going to be sorely disappointed. If you're thinking you're going to um, be able to read with these, like this this lady right here. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, right here. Um, don't think so. Don't think so at all. Now, the other feature in this thing is that it has like uh, built-in sunglasses. So there's like a little slidey thing right here. You slide it over and it, it puts sort of like a slightly amber tinted lenses in the way right there. So that might be something if you buy these and you didn't read the instructions or you didn't notice it, you would totally miss that little slidey thing over there. Um, so is it worth, I don't know, 10 bucks I think is what I paid for it. I bought it at Target. Hopefully my, uh, my bank account's not empty by now because if you haven't heard, Target had like 40 million people's crap <laughs> stole you know uh, their ID or whatever um, compromised which is pretty bad wow 
<laughs> can you see you're hunting and you got those glasses on these these are just outrageously insane insane so I don't know what do you think anyway this is a short video it's sort of more of an unboxing and my uh, first impression my first impression is don't even spend the ten dollars on these it's not worth it unless you know it might be good for a kid they're not made very uh, you know the kid will probably break it eventually but um whatever what do you think <sighs> all right um I'm really not prepared to make a video it was a long day today I had um had to stay a little bit late so I sort of you know rushed home swallowed some quick drive through which is not good and quickly uh, threw these zoomies on and got in front of the camera and decided to talk to you through it and I probably look like a complete buffoon but um I'll give these a 5 out of 10 because um, they're cheap they're, they're more or less a novelty or a toy but um, they do work for distances, so you go out there and, and see things. I don't really feel like they're magnifying 400 times to me. I, I Really, it, it doesn't look like 400 times. But I, I don't have an exact way of, of doing it, but by eye, it does not look like it. Pretty much a bet these are made in China. Are they made in China? Again, I'm. this is totally unscripted I'm just um, running in here having fun yep made in China zoomies are a trademark of APG <laughs> um, distributed by all-star products group Horthon New York so New Yorkers are, are pouring this out to the to the rest of us but um I, I wouldn't buy them I uh, I bought them and tried them so you don't have to waste your money all right Anyway, um, got a cat. My cat told me to review these, so check this out. Cats love them. You like them, huh? Yes, I have a crazy cat. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, um, subscriber, and you. And I hope you had a awesome weekend. Take care. Bye.